For trials, you are required to give the other side a list of your witnesses and exhibits, just as they are required to give you a list of their witnesses and exhibits. If you do not do this, the judge may decide that you can't call a witness or use an exhibit. You're also required to give a copy to the other side of all motions, notices, and other papers that you file with the court. Similarly, any time the judge communicates by writing, the judge will send a copy to both sides. To prove that you sent a copy of all of your court papers to the other side, you must fill out a certificate of service. Many people forget to fill out this portion of their court papers. To help you remember, the Family Law Self-Help Center forms have a blank certificate of service at the bottom of the form. It is very important that you fill out and sign the certificate of service. If you do not, you will get a notice of deficiency from the court. This means that your case will be stopped until you fix the deficiency. This will delay your case. Let's take a look at an example of a certificate of service. At the top, fill out the date you served the other side and how you gave it to him or her. If you used mail, you should send it to the address that the other party listed in the court file. If the other side has an attorney, you do not send it directly to the other party. You send the papers to the attorney's office. Be sure to sign at the bottom of the certificate before you mail or deliver the papers. Regular first class mail is okay. The only time you need to use certified mail or a process server is to serve the complaint.